Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just wanted to do a get ready with me with you guys today. Um, as you can see, my makeup is already done. I'm filling this intro after I did the video because I just kind of like <laughs> really like impromptu was like, I'm gonna film a video right now. So with that being said, stay tuned. And um, I'm going to clap and you're gonna see me in the midst, in the midst of getting ready. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. I actually already started doing my makeup, but I thought I would do a little get ready with me um, because I haven't made a video in forever and I feel like I feel like I need to make one because it's just been a long time. So I figured I would do some makeup and just chat with you guys about, you know, life. It's been a year. 2020 has been something else. And I had filmed videos in March because I was like, oh, you know, quarantine. I'm going to do it. I'm going to like really pop off this channel and really get it going. And like, it's going to be my year on YouTube. And then I made a video and then I never edited that video because I got depressed. <laughs> Yeah, I got depressed. And so then I just drowned myself in watching other people who actually did make their YouTube videos. And, uh, you know, are good with that stuff. Ugh, I'm so, I don't know about you guys, but like, I am not good at eyeshadow looks. Like, in the slightest. And it's, I think it's because like, I just, I can't wear my glasses when I do my makeup or when I do my eyes. And like, so I think I'm blended and then like, I'm not blended. So don't like, don't drag me over my terrible, terrible blending. Cause it's just not good. And then like, you know, I'm no artist or anything. So like, then I go to like, oh, well, I'm just gonna put this in like, my corner here and then it just looks like poop and you can't even like tell it's there it's like the other thing or at least I don't feel like you can but you probably can't this probably looks like I just gave myself black eyes that's probably what I just did so that's really fun I'm gonna pat some sparkles up here this looks Thank God I don't have foundation and concealer on yet because I can, I can fix this. I can make it not look so crazy. Uh, for those of you that have kids, how's it going? How's COVID been? Are you distance learning? We're distance learning. So my daughter is on a hybrid schedule this year and... We are three weeks in and I am already real burnt out. It's a lot. Props to teachers, honestly, because I just couldn't, I just, I am not, I'm not cut out. I have never been cut out. I never wanted to like be a teacher. That was never like on the, in the dream. It's never in the dream. But sometimes, you know, God throws these challenges in your face to stretch you. And, you know, I pray for patience like a lot, like a whole lot, especially when it comes to my daughter, because I've just never, even before kids, have been one to have a lot of patience. It's been a real character flaw of mine. Like, <laughs> I was not born a patient person. Um, oh, I didn't put primer on. Frick. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I've just never been a patient person. Like when people describe me, especially my family, they've never been like, Sarah's, you know, Sarah's really patient. She's just one of those people that's just so patient. But then like, what's real funny about that was like, so I serve at church on the media booth. 
And I have to like train people on how to do things in the media booth. Side note, I know this foundation looks way not my color, but the way it oxidizes, it works, okay? But anyway, so yeah, I have to train people in the media booth and they have all told me how patient I am with them. And I'm just like, mm -mm, that's not, it's not me. I'm not patient. But every night when we sit down to do our distance learning homework, just ask God for extra patience. I'm like, just please, Lord, let me have some patience with her. And it doesn't start off where I have patience with her. I'll tell you that. It starts off with yelling and screaming. <laughs> because where I lose my patience is I know she's like real smart and she could do all the things. And I've seen her write all of her letters and we've practiced it and we've done these things. And then she sits down to do her homework and she's like, it's tricky. I can't do it. And I'm just like girlfriend you can do it like I think it's like that when I hear like the I can't do it it's like a trigger I don't know like just one of those things like I've always tried to not say that about anything like I've always tried to not be like I can't do this because as it says in the bible through God all things are possible you know we can do all things like we can through, with Jesus, we can do it. So I just want her to know that she can do it. And with that too, like sometimes she just doesn't want to put the effort in. And I'm just like, come on, man, just make the effort and you would be done and you could do it and it would be great. But now I'm trying, I've been slowly starting though to learn that, um, you know, we got time. If she doesn't get TV and if we don't get to snuggle and, you know, spend that time together, it's okay. And it's okay because she needs to sit there and she needs to do the things that she needs to do and get them done because she's got to learn, you know? If she doesn't do it, she's never going to learn it. And I can't do it for her because that doesn't benefit her either. And she is somebody at five years old who cannot be rushed. When you rush her, she freaks out. So I'm slowly just like, okay, well, you know, if you want to watch TV and you want to watch your iPad or you want to play with your toys, you got to get them on because we've got baths to do and bedtime to do. And you know, all that stuff and you've only got a little bit more time so if we're gonna if we're you know gonna do all the things that you want to do you got to get your homework done also if you're curious as to what makeup I'm using I will put it in the comments for you or in the description box see I'm a youtuber I know I know it I know what to do I'm just so bad at this whole YouTube thing and I try really hard, but you know, here we are. Uh, I just set my face, sadly. I'm not good with the whole makeup thing. I'm just doing a get ready with me because sometimes you just have to multitask and I feel like I don't know what other videos to do. I've been trying to come up with stuff. I'm just like falling short. I just haven't found like my niche yet with YouTube like I haven't found what kind of videos that I'm gonna do really well and excel at like I've tried cooking videos I've tried just the straight vlog I've tried like out on the bout out out on the bout out and about videos but the thing with those videos is I get embarrassed when people see me filming in public on like that so I try to like keep it to my house I've tried to do my weight loss videos because as you guys know, I have lost a lot of weight, but now I'm just like maintaining it. So like, I mean, I could show you guys like what I eat during the week and like cook more, but I feel like at the same time, like you guys would like laugh at my food because I'm not like, I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm like the greatest cook. I just kind of like cook what I like and what's easy and try to just make it 
low carb. And I'm really, really awful at finding new recipes. So I know I'm like sounding like I'm doubting myself and I'm saying I can't do it. See why I get triggered? Because I do it. But yeah, I just, you know, insecurity is tough, man. It's like real tough as I pour tons and tons of makeup on my face. It just is. It's really tough to work through and to be like, you know, and let fear stop you from doing the things that you want to do. Like, like making YouTube videos. A lot of it is just, I get nervous that like, no one's gonna like the video. No one's going to watch it. It's not gonna be interesting. And that's like my biggest thing is like, I feel like it's not gonna be interesting to anybody. And maybe it is interesting, who knows? I wanted to do like more mukbangs too, but at the same time, like I don't, I don't like to eat. I know with like mukbangs you have to like eat like all this crazy amounts of food, and like I struggle so much with like maintaining my weight, and like you know when I gain a pound back, I freak out. So like I don't want to like do like a huge mukbang and then be like, oh my god, I gained all this weight. So I suppose I could you know do a mukbang of celery. And carrots <laughs> like healthy food you know I could do that if you would be interested in watching me eat a bunch of snacks or something I don't know let me know let me know what you guys would be interested in I mean I I had also you know I get ideas for videos and then I start them and then like they just I don't even finish them I do have another one though that I am working on about trying different face masks and I think I've done like three face masks so far that I've like recorded but most of the ones that I have right now in my house are sheet masks and I don't want to just like continuously do sheet mask videos because a lot of them are let's be honest the same they don't, I feel like they don't really do different things for my skin. So I'd like to try more of like more peel off masks or like, you know. Oh God, that didn't spray anywhere near my face. <laughs> Blind. So I just need to find like some good, like, I need, I want like two more to finish that video. I think two more masks, like peel off or like, they just lay on your face and then you wash them off, something like that. Um, yeah, so look out for that video because I do want to finish that one. And then I am going to post this one. I am going to post this one because I am not going to let fear dictate my life. No, no, sir. And I think, you know what, honestly, too, I think that's like a big lesson in 2020 that we all like have learned, need to learn, will continue to learn is that we can't let fear dictate our lives. Like you just can't. Like God doesn't want us to be afraid. There's several Bible verses about that. God doesn't want you to be afraid, you know? I mean, he's got everything all figured out. Everything's going to be fine. So we just shouldn't be afraid, you know? Especially when it comes to our purpose and our calling. One of the things that we need to remember is to not be afraid and to just like go for it. Like if you feel, I heard this the other day, so I don't want to plagiarize this. I heard this the other day and I can't remember who said it, but they said, if you feel like God is putting something on your heart that you need to do, like say make YouTube videos or make TikToks or become an influencer, then you need to do the, then you need to do that and you need to not be afraid and you need to like press into where you're you feel like you're being called and I was like wow that's good that's real good I don't know why I decided to do pink lipstick because I'm about to put on a red flannel shirt so that was dumb thank you guys for hanging out with me while I get ready this morning I hope you all have a great day I hope you enjoyed the randomness of this video and our random chat and conversation. Um, I 
Hope you look forward to new videos. I am really going to put forth the effort to make those videos. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Do good things. Be kind to someone. And I will see you guys in the next video.